Hey guys, it's Alicia, and today we're going to explore the what and the how of proxy servers. Server overload is one of the top reasons websites crash. Infrastructure issues, spikes in web traffic, and hacks are some of the main causes of these overloads. Hackings are prevalent all around the world. To counteract this, businesses can implement a proxy server as a conduit to field requests, balance the load, and protect their origin servers. In this video, we'll cover what a proxy server is and understand how one works. But before we get started, I want to let you know that there will be links to more resources in the video's description. And remember, subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications for future helpful content. Now, what is a proxy server? A proxy server is a computer application that acts as a gatekeeper between a user seeking information and a server. The server is like a castle where private information is protected and stored. The proxy is the drawbridge at the entrance of the castle, providing security and protection against threats like DDoS attacks and more while collecting and funneling all requests from the user in a systematic way. To put it simply, it's an intermediary, but its role and responsibilities are so much more than that. Proxy servers enable sites, including personal sites, blogging platforms, and business sites to operate more efficiently, driving down load times and protecting both the server's security and the requester's privacy. Businesses implement them to protect their sites, establish a controlled employee network, and increase their firewalls against hackers. Individuals might consider having a proxy server to add a layer of privacy or security for their online browsing. The proxy server will send the individual's request to the site, thus shielding their private information from the final server in the process. Although they are common, proxy servers are not required for individuals or businesses. In fact, many businesses operate without them and most individuals browsing the internet do not have them. But why should they? There are many different reasons an individual or business would consider investing in and implementing a proxy server into their tech stack. Let's discover what is a proxy and how it can be used in a variety of ways. Depending on your use case, you might find value in a proxy server in multiple different ways, and multiple proxies can be used as well. Some of the most popular usages of a proxy server include privacy, security, load balancing, increasing site speed, and more. Let's take a look at each one individually. A proxy server masks the requester's location and ensures anonymous browsing. In a time when hacking, phishing scams, and pirated information is commonplace, it is a worthwhile benefit for businesses to implement a proxy server. However, hackers can also use a proxy to mask their IP addresses and protect their identity. A masked IP address makes it difficult for law enforcement agencies or other specialists to find the hacker. Generally speaking, proxies help individuals and businesses add another layer of defense from these bad actors by shielding their private information. Proxy servers can also protect businesses. A business can deploy a proxy to protect its server infrastructure. This will help ensure that their site continues to operate and that their employees' emails, files, and communications have an additional layer of protection than if they were on a public server. But how does a proxy server accomplish all of this? A proxy server can protect the business's core server infrastructure that houses all their files by acting as the first line of defense and standing in between the user and the server. If the castle is the server, the proxy could be the drawbridge or the moat. In order to get the castle, the server, the user must go through the proxy first. Thus, if damage is done to the proxy, the server will still remain unharmed. This can be an additional shield that protects your WordPress CDN from attacks. Take a look at this flowchart. As shown here, the proxy server is isolated from both the users and the company's server, thus adding another layer of protection for the company from direct attacks from individuals. It's important to note, though, that proxy servers won't completely shield you from a hacker. There are many ways to get around the proxy and attack a server and organization. However, proxy servers are one of many tools businesses and organizations can use to improve security measures and counter those trying to hack their systems. Think back to all those ticket releases for major concerts featuring a global superstar. 
Every once in a while, one of those launches falls flat, leaving hundreds of thousands of eager fans with an error message on the site. Why? One of the largest reasons for this is that the server is overwhelmed and ill-prepared to answer all the requests at once. Although a proxy server won't solve everything in the previous example, it can assist with load balancing and lighten the work for the final server. A proxy server can filter and manage requests from users before sending them to the origin server in a streamlined way. This filtering prevents the server from being overwhelmed by all the requests at once. No one likes waiting for a website to load. For users, this can be a frustrating experience that compels them to look elsewhere. For businesses, this damages their brand and bottom line. Consumers won't wait for slow WordPress sites, and companies could lose money on lost sales, abandoned carts, and the absence of clicks. Worst of all, a sluggish site will impact your ranking on search engine results pages. Page load time is among the many factors that search engines, including Google, consider when serving websites to those inputting relevant keywords into their default search engine. Plus, you wouldn't want to be added to Google's URL block list with a slow site. Therefore, it makes sense for businesses to invest time and resources ensuring their pages load as quickly as possible with the fastest site speed available. To learn how to assess your site speed, use Google's PageSpeed Insights or read our post about website speed tests. But how can a proxy help with your site speed? Due to caching that occurs, a proxy server can more quickly access the files being requested. To return to the extended metaphor of the castle, caching would be like a historical record book that the army in the castle would use to defeat their attackers. The more logs in the record book, the easier it would be to anticipate what the attackers might do. Caching is the storing of frequently accessed files and pages, which makes it easy for the proxy to load them quickly for the user requesting them. This will ultimately make your site load faster since commonly requested files are requested once by the internet via the proxy and shared with multiple users simultaneously. Although other variables including file sizes, optimization, and network connection can impact a site's page load time, it is still important to consider how a proxy can help achieve better page load times as well. Now that you know why people use proxy servers, let's look at how one functions. A step-by-step -step breakdown of how proxy servers work helps us understand the value that they provide. However, to understand how proxy servers work, you need to learn about the two most common types of proxy servers, forward proxies and reverse proxies. A forward proxy receives the request from a user or client and transmits it through the internet to the origin server. A reverse proxy protects the server with added security by filtering the requests from the user or client and providing them to the origin server only to send back the files to the user or client. This prevents the user or client from ever interacting with the origin server. Kinsta provides the ability to add a reverse proxy on all of its plans. Both function as an intermediary. They differ in where they stand when requesting a file or piece of content from a site. The forward proxy is stationed on the user's end, while the reverse proxy is typically set up by a company to field and send back information to the user initiating the request. By understanding how proxy servers work, you can troubleshoot yours and understand what is happening behind the scenes in real time. Are there more types of proxy servers other than forward and reverse proxies? Let's look at some of the most common ones used today. There are many different types of proxy servers, so you need to understand which one is right for your use case. Static proxy keeps the same dedicated IP address for all requests. This is a simple, straightforward proxy that is quick and efficient. Rotating proxy rotates IP addresses for each request. Because they rotate IP addresses, these can be much slower than static proxies. Residential proxies are common and use the actual IP address of physical devices. Many use these to switch their geographical location or add an additional layer of protection. If you're trying to bypass a local restriction, whether it's in a place by your company or another entity, this type of proxy can help you achieve that. Data center proxies do not use actual IP addresses of physical devices and instead are fake manufactured IP addresses created in bulk. All data-centered proxies may share the same IP address, which can sometimes lead to banning them altogether. 
Be aware should you choose to use these. Anonymous Proxy hides your IP address and information and transmits a request to the origin server without requesting any identifying information from the original person making the request. Dedicated Proxy only allows one user to use it at a time, thus creating a private channel for that person. Some also call this a private proxy. Shared proxy allows many people to use the proxy at the same time. Multiple clients can share the cost and use the proxy. However, with multiple requests from multiple users, this type of proxy will need a strong connection and architecture to handle this load. Public proxy is set up in online proxy lists and can be unsafe and unreliable due to its accessible nature. Hackers can access these proxies and wreak havoc, so be careful if you plan to use one. Transparent proxy is useful in work settings when clients don't want anyone to know that a proxy exists. The proxy is hidden at all times for all users. SSL proxies use an SSL protocol providing an added layer of security and protection. SSL stands for the Secure Sockets Layer and is an encrypted security protocol. Opposite the SSL proxy is the HTTP proxy. The HTTP proxy is less secure than the SSL proxy, but it is still an option for those operating on an HTTP basis. Not all sites and servers currently operate on the SSL protocol, making this proxy still valuable to those on HTTP. A proxy isn't for everyone, and there are some times when the cons will outweigh the pros. You need to understand your motivation for why you're looking for one in the first place to make an educated decision. You should consider using a proxy if you're interested in monitoring or controlling internet access for other users on your network, you're interested in masking your IP address, you're hoping to increase your speed, although there are many ways to do this. You'd like to bypass restrictions or blocked sites. You're concerned about malware and want to add another layer of protection. Proxies are not complicated to set up, and there are plenty of benefits to using one. If you think it makes sense for you or your business, check out the step-by-step -step instructions in the resources below. An unsecured website puts your customers and reputation at risk. With Kinsys Cloudflare integration, all the security features you need are built right into your plan at no additional cost. That's a monthly savings of around $200 per WordPress site. Learn more about these benefits, including DDoS protection, a more secure firewall, and more at kinsta.com forward slash Cloudflare dash integration. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this.